There's no doubt about it, Josh Jacobs is having a career year for the Raiders. Now also heading into his contract year, questions are arising. Should the Raiders extend Josh Jacobs? Should they let him walk out the door? Is this production just a fluke? So today I want to dive into Josh Jacobs' film, analyze what he's done well, still where he needs to improve on, and see is he worth re-signing for the Raiders. So let's get into the film breakdown. Jumping to this first play here, we're going to highlight one of the most impressive runs I've seen from a running back in the last few years. So pre-snap here, we're going to see the Raiders, they're running this crack toss sweep here. So it's just like outside zone, they're going to be throwing the pitch though, and the receiver will be cracking the DN to try to get Josh Jacobs quickly out on the perimeter. At the snap of the ball, we're going to see the defense does a really good job to fight over the top and force Josh Jacobs to cut this back vertical. But as we see here, we got, we got guys pursuing from the backside here, so it's not just as simple as putting your foot in the round and getting vertical. We see Josh Jacobs, as I let this play roll, his patience to allow that defender to clear from his pursuit angle. And now he's got Big Al Woods hanging off him. He's going to throw the stiff arm, shed the tackle, show that contact balance to get down the sideline to score a big-time touchdown. I'll display roll from the top one more time, but just keep an eye on Josh Jacobs' vision here. See how he feels the flow of the defense, allows all these guys to take these bad pursuit angles, and then look at that contact balance, that physicality to get off the tackle, get down the sideline, scoring a touchdown. We've seen Josh Jacobs excel with that crack toss play. Now let's flip gears here on this next play. Let's take a look at him running a true outside zone play from under center. So we're going to see pre-snap here. We, like I said, the offense is down up outside zone weak here, so away from the tight end. And at the snap of the ball, I really just want to focus on the flow of the defense once again. We're going to see the Mike linebacker here. He's flowing hard over the top. On top of that, we see circled in black. The front side defenders do a great job fighting, not allowing themselves to get reached. Now we see, like I said, circled in white. We see the defense here is flowing heavy laterally here to the left. On top of that, we see the Mike. He's committing to the front side of the play, flowing over the top, which creates this crease for Josh Jacobs to ride this wave back through the backside here, get vertical, and show that contact balance to fight for extra yards. I'll display rolls from the top one more time, but just keep an eye on here. Josh Jacobs' vision, his patience to let this run settle out, not force anything too quick, his patience to allow it to declare. And then once he gets vertical, he's always falling forward, picking an extra two, three yards after contact. We've seen a lot to like from Josh Jacobs, whether it's the crack toss, whether it's the outside zone. He's got the vision. He's got the physicality. So moving on to this next play, we're going to stay on the same subject, how he fits perfectly into any outside zone, wide zone team. So pre-snap here, we see the Raiders once again. They're running this outside zone weak play here to the left away from the tight end. And at the snap of the ball, I really just want to focus on the middle linebacker here and how he's going to be coming scot-free. So we see circled in black, the double team here. They're late to come off to the backer circled in white, which completely closes off the front side of this play for Josh Jacobs. Now we see Josh Jacobs' patience here. He doesn't panic. He slows his feet down, finds a new crease here, manipulates this defender in black to jump inside, which makes a massive crease here to the backside for him to get vertical. And once again, we see that physicality always falling forward, not getting tackled by the first defender. I'll let this play roll from the top one more time. Just keep an eye here on, the, on that backer here, how he comes free. Look at Josh Jacobs' patience. He doesn't panic. He doesn't force the run. He slows his feet down to find the new crease and get back vertical, picking up a lot of yards for his offense once again. Now, he's seen a lot to like from Josh Jacobs. He's got great vision. He does a really good job at reading the flow of defenses. He also has that physicality and bruising style that he'll always fall forward and pick up an extra two, three yards at the end of every run. Now, on this next play, I want to flip gears, though, and he's not just a bruising back. Now, I want to look at his speed and his burst. So, we see the offense. They're running ISO inside zone here. And at the snap of the ball, we're going to see the offensive line and the fullback do a great job. The fullback has a really good ISO block here, and it declares a lane extremely fast for Jacobs. Now, this is where Josh Jacobs shows his burst. As soon as he sees this hole, he puts on that gas, and now we see the safeties coming in, but he's just too fast. He burns past the safety, burns past all those tackle angles, and as soon as you give him a little bit of a crease, he'll be out the door for a big-time touchdown. All the play roll from the top one more time. Just keep an eye on his burst here. Look how he absolutely blows past his safety that's coming down to make the tackle. Look how he burns past everybody on the defense, getting down the field for the game-winning touchdown. So, like I said, we've seen a lot to like from Jacobs. He's got the physicality, he's got the vision, he's even got the burst. There's also aspects where he's an efficient pass catcher out of the backfield. We've seen multiple times where Derek Carr has put the ball on him in the flats and he's had to adjust and make difficult catches. We've also seen the Raiders dial up H option plays from him, allowing him to get out and run an option route for Derek Carr. So they definitely trust Josh Jacobs in the passing game. So honestly, at the end of the day, what is there not to like about Josh Jacobs? To be honest with you, there's not a whole lot besides the fact that paying running backs has not paid off for teams in the past. But at the end of the day, Josh Jacobs has the vision, he has the physicality, he's a bruising style running back with the breakaway speed. He's a complete three down running back that we've seen this year dominate, getting over 1,400 yards so far in the year, being ready to push and take 
take away and run away with the rushing title. Josh Jacobs is an elite running back. He can fit into any outside zone running scheme. He can fit into any gap scheme that wants to run power. Whatever you want to run, you can slide Josh Jacobs in there. He's a veteran running back that knows how to feel out defense defenses, knows how to find the open creases, and he deserves to get paid by whether it's the Raiders or in free agency. He's going to be a premier target for any team that's looking to run the football and run the football effectively week in, week in out. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Do you think Josh Jacobs should be re-signed? Do you think the Raiders should let him walk? Let me know. I love hearing from you guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.